The helpful folks at Harris Ace Hardware say thank you for choosing Harris Ace as your favorite place to buy hardware and building supplies. Stop by Harris Ace Hardware and check out their weekly deals. Sign up for Ace Rewards and start earning points toward coupons and rewards. You'll even receive a $5 coupon just for signing up. Harris Ace Hardware in Jessup, Hinesville, Yolonia, and now in Brunswick. They are ready to serve your everyday building and hardware needs. Harris Ace Hardware. It's time now for a look latest on local sports and sports. We give the recreation scores from last night as the action continues as they're in the fourth week of the season. Eight under girls, the Bulldogs, eight the Dirty Diamonds, two. Ten under girls, the Jackets, ten the Bulldogs, four. Fourteen under girls, Jackets, ten. Cubs, four. Sooners, seven. Jacks, three. Eight under boys, it was the Cardinals, 13. Diamondbacks, 12. Indians, 12. Marlins, 11. Seventeen under Wayne Gold, 12. Wayne Black, 11. Again, those scores last night from your recreation scoreboard. Second side, Georgia High School team has shut down their voluntary workouts due to another positive coronavirus test coming back. Glen County, Glen Academy is shut down until July. That's the word from head coach Rocky Adalgo. The announcement came Sunday. Coaches notifying all people who may have come in contact with the player that tested positive to get tested themselves. Additionally, the football facility will be sanitized over the next few days to ensure a safe environment for all the athletes. Long County has shut down late last week. And they also shut down everything until July. But up in Cobb County, despite positive tests coming back to three different schools, they've reported a test, a positive test. They continue their workouts. Health officials in McKeachin, Pope, and Hillgrove report positive tests of a player. But those programs have notified families and players but are not halting the workouts, which at this time are voluntary. Head coaches state that all questions about the test should be directed to the school's administration. But once again, they are not shutting down. The workouts, they are continuing those despite a positive test. So once again, no consistency across the board. Each school with its own policy in place. Three Atlanta area schools with positive tests. They continue voluntary practice. Two side Georgia schools with positive tests. They shut them down, both Long and Glen Academy, until July. MLB planning on holding a 60-game season, which is set to begin July 24th. The first, the players need to sign off today on a health and safety protocol and to pledge to arrive at stadiums by July 1st to begin preparing for the season. After nearly three months of the two sides going back and forth and not able to agree, the commissioner has used his authority to impose a schedule, and that's where we are. But today the players will make the final decision on whether they will play or not. Multiple players are saying they will vote today to report July 1, salvage some type of season this year. So it appears that we will be able to watch some Major League Baseball this season. The agreement is expected to be finalized sometime today. Again, players report July 1, season begins July 24th until September, and then the playoffs in the World Series after that. In other sport notes, there's been a change for Arthur Williams Middle School softball tryouts. According to Coach Jason Osteen, tryouts are going to be just two days instead of three, July 13th and 14th, and 6th, 7th, and 8th graders will all try out at the same time. Tryouts of those two days will be at the Ben Park Complex on field number two. Tryouts will be from 10 to 1230 each day. Once again, the day July 13th and 14th for Arthur Williams Middle School softball tryouts. Reminder to all members of the Pine Forest Country Clubs Men's Golf Association, they have a meeting set for this Thursday evening at 7 p.m. They'll discuss the Rogers Cup set for the weekend, and if you haven't paid your dues, membership dues are $75. All members encourage to attend. Again, the meeting date this Thursday at 7 p.m. at the Pine Forest Country Club. Finally, in sports, if you'd like to read a recent book, hit the stores by Steelers running back James Conner entitled Fear is a Choice. It's an inspirational story about his battle with cancer, which he fought and won was drafted in the third round by the Pittsburgh Steelers a few years ago at the University of Pittsburgh. Connor was named freshman ACC Player of the Year, beating out FSU's Jameis Winston when his first game as a sophomore tore his MCL. And during his x-rays and visits to the doctors, he was diagnosed with lymphoma and began his treatments and chemotherapy. And a nice inspirational story that's, un- that's uplifting, but it has a lot of good advice for anyone who's had cancer or is battling the disease at this time. Again, the book's entitled Fear is a Choice, the author James Connor. That's going to do it for the latest in local sports. Sports is brought to you each and every day this time by friends at Harris Ace Hardware. Listen up, parents. It's more important than ever to keep your kids reading this summer, and your local public library is making it easy. Beanstack is a free app that lets you easily track your child's reading, and they can participate in summer reading challenges. Summer reading through your library and Beanstack can prevent the summer learning slide and help your kids get ready for school this fall. Learn more about virtual summer reading through Beanstack at your local library and georgialibraries.org slash summer. georgialibraries.org slash summer. Sir, you're now being placed under arrest for driving under an influence. What does that mean?